Hey, what is up guys? Caliban's hand is back this season, and you know what that means? The drip is back. Seriously, 10 out of 10 exotic when it comes to looks. And let me tell you, to my surprise, it also handles really well even in very hard content. I took it for a spin in this Master Nightfall while being severely under the recommended power level, and it actually blew up my expectations. I mean, the ad clear potential in this exotic is amazing. You see a group of enemies, you throw a knife, and they're all dead. And you get your knife back. Oh wait, you missed your knife, guess what? It's absolutely fine, because with the build I'm about to show you, you're going to be getting your dodge back in 6 seconds, so you will get plenty of knives to throw. One of the best parts about this build is that you get access to amazing buffs that come with the solar subclass, such as restoration, which is one of the best buffs in the entire game, and we are going to be applying it thanks to our grenade. Not to mention that you can also combine it with Well of Life for some of the most insane healing you've ever seen. And that's exactly what we are going to be doing in this build. To top this off, we are also going to take advantage of buffs like Radiant and Font of Might to further amp up our weapon damage. I mean, it's not like we even need it, everything is going to get blown away to pieces anyways. But it's nice to have against those tougher enemies that you will encounter once in a while. Before we get into the mods, let's talk about Caliban's hand and how it works. It basically makes your proximity knife scorch targets that it hits with its explosion, or ignites them if they happen to die. Both the scorch and the ignite are very important here. The scorch is what's going to be giving us our dodge back so quickly, and that's thanks to the fragment Ember of Singeing, which by the way is one of the best solar fragments out there. It drastically increases your class ability recharge rate whenever you scorch targets. Our knife scorches on explosions, so you can already see where this is going. The Scorch is nice, however where this exotic truly shines is with the ignitions that your knife will cause once you kill an enemy with it. These ignitions are chainable and deal a ridiculous amount of damage. Also keep in mind that the knife will cause an ignition regardless of whether the enemy dies to the knife itself or to the explosion that follows up afterwards. This whole setup only gets better once you add all the mods and fragments making the build an absolute beast so make sure you stick around till the end. Also, make sure that you join my Discord, that way you can contact me directly and ask any questions about any build that you might have. We have an awesome community growing and I would love for you to be a part of it. Stat-wise, we are going to be aiming for 100 resilience, 100 mobility, and then I like to put the rest of my stats in discipline, as this allows me to get my healing grenade much quicker. Moving on to our abilities, we are going to be using Gambler's Dodge, and this is to get our melee back whenever we dodge. For our melee, we have to be using Proximity Knife, because this is the one that works with Caliban's hand. And for our grenade, you want to be using Healing Grenade, that way you can apply that restoration buff. Aspect-wise, we are going to be starting off with Knock Him Down, and this is going to buff up your Blade Barrage so it deals more damage, but it's also going to give you your melee back, when you get a final blow with it, as long as you're radiant, but we are always going to be radiant, so that's fine. Next up we are using On Your Mark, we are mainly using this for the 3 fragment slots that it provides, but the weapon handling and reload speed that it provides is also very nice to have. Fragment wise, we are going to be using Ember of Singeing, and this is going to allow for our dodge to recharge much faster when we are scorching targets. Then we have Ember of Torches, which is going to make us radiant whenever we hit an enemy with our melee, Next up we have Ember of Empyrean, and this is going to extend the duration of Restoration and Radiant buffs, as long as you get Solar Weapon or Ability final blows. And this is how we are going to be extending the duration of Restoration after we throw our Healing Grenade. Then we have Ember of Car, which is going to allow our Ignitions to spread Scorch to our targets, and this is what's going to cause all those chain Ignitions. And then for the last one we are using Ember of Ashes, which simply allows us to apply more Scorch stacks to our targets. For this last fragment, if you want to, you can use Ember of Eruption, which increases the area of effect of your ignitions, but honestly, I didn't find that being a problem, that's why I'm sticking with Ember of Ashes. When it comes to our mods, we are going to be starting with Powerful Friends on our helmet, and this is going to provide us with that 20 extra mobility for free, which is always nice to have, especially in this build. Next up, we have Hands On, which is going to give you bonus super energy whenever you get killed with your melee. And then the seasonal mod Inferno Whip, which is going to stun unstoppable champions whenever you hit them with your melee. On our gauntlets, we are going to be using Font of Might, and this is going to provide us with that 25% extra damage whenever we pick up a Solar Elemental Well. However, keep in mind, this damage only works on Solar weapons. If you happen to not need two champion mods, then make sure you use Focusing Strike, because this is also going to help us to get our dodge much quicker. On our chestplate, we are running Melee Well Maker, which is going to create those Solar Elemental Wells whenever we get a kill with our knife, 
or the knife's explosion. On our leg armor we are using Well of Life, which is a very nice mod, especially with Solar 3.0 because it does stack with Restoration, giving you an insane amount of healing. You activate it by picking up a Solar Elemental Well. And finally, on our Hunter Cloak, we are going to be using Elemental Time Dilation, which is going to extend the duration of Font of Might and Well of Life in our build. To top this off, we are going to be using double utility kickstars just to get our dodge even faster. Weapon wise, you can pretty much use anything you want with this build, however I do recommend sticking with at least one solar weapon, that way you can extend the duration of your restoration and radiant buff thanks to the fragment Ember of Empyrean. We are also using Font of Might, which is going to increase that solar weapon damage by 25%. So to play this build properly, you want to make sure that you throw your healing grenade on you before using your knife, that way you will get the restoration buff up and stacking, which will make you very tanky in exchange. Another very important thing that you should try doing is making sure that you hit targets directly with your knife. This is especially important in harder content, however when testing this out in a Master Nightfall, I was a bunch of levels under the recommended power level, and as long as I hit red bars with the knife, they would later die to the explosion and cause a whole chain reaction. If you are doing easier content, then you can get away with missing your target, as the knife's explosion will most likely kill it anyways. You shouldn't have a problem with getting your dodge bag as long as you are hitting targets with your knife, so don't be afraid to spam that dodge whenever you miss. Once you kill that target with a knife, it would spawn a solar well that will activate our well of life as well as font of might buffs, which will further empower you and your weapons. You'll also be getting your super relatively quick with this build, so don't be afraid to use it as soon as you get it. Blade Barrage is still an amazing super. That is all I have for you guys today. Make sure you like, sub and comment what would you like to see next. As always, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.